all right what is going on welcome to the channel all right special video for you guys here today we are on 495 the capitol beltway here in washington dc virginia maryland border and in this video i'm going to present to you some highway driving using fsd all right so we're going to be in some pretty heavy traffic here and we're gonna do a lot of lane switching. Well, FSD is in assertive mode, so it chooses to be in the left lane as much as possible, but it does do some weaving. Um, and this is a lot of stop and go traffic, so I wanna give you a real point of view, what it looks like sitting in stop and go traffic, um, but letting the car drive for you. So. Right now, this is an available software that's available on all Tesla cars. It's their full self-driving. Um, anyone in North America can use this, uh, Canada and the United States. Um, and this is like a driver assist tool. So it's doing the steering for me, it's doing the pedals for me. And um, it's it's got eight cameras surrounded the car, detecting my surroundings. And based on you know the traffic around me, it's it's making a, a series of decisions. And it always keeps safety in mind as a priority. And uh, based on all that, it drives for you. So make sure you got your seatbelt buckled um, because that's really the only rule with. Um, FSD and autopilot of course keeping your eyes peeled um, and paying attention but that should go without saying since it's still a computer software driving for you logically speaking you just want to pay attention um, we're just not there yet so here we are crossing over into the Maryland over the Maryland state line here um, and still FSD in control doing its thing and what we got to do actually is cut over like four or five lanes coming up here um, and I want to show you how FSD handles that fully autonomously and um, on a busy highway with a lot of traffic what it does in a real life situation and of course I did not pre-plan this video um, anything is possible here so we're gonna go ahead and indicate one over um, and we're gonna just hang out in this lane for a second it's a really nice Rivian truck on my right side over here really nice truck big fan of the Rivian trucks I think it, it provides a little bit of competition for Tesla I mean look at that Tesla's got nothing on the market that looks like that um, it looks more like a traditional SUV, kind of like a Chevy Tahoe or Suburban, um, compared to the Cybertruck, which looks like something out of a sci-fi movie and nothing traditional to like what you see on the road. So I, I do like what Rivian is doing because it still provides that futuristic Jeep Wrangler style look, which I, I do like. All right, so back to the FSD, we decided to get over in our left lane, which because I'm on assertive mode, it's gonna always select um, the left lane. But I see it moving a little bit more on my right side, so I do wanna switch over here, but I try not to prematurely switch lanes and then have it move back over. Now, using the right scroll wheel, you can select your different profile setting. And then if you do want to just camp in the lane, just select minimal lane change and it won't go back into the passing lane until you deselect that. So we're going to actually attempt that here. We're going to go ahead and select minimal lane change for now. Because um, I know 495 forks coming up here and uh, I want to make sure to not miss my exit. So. But I do have faith in FSD. It recognizes the fact that, you know, your turn is coming up and it gets in the lane for you and uh, makes that turn for you. So it really helps out when you're in unfamiliar territory um, and you're driving, FSD just kind of takes you where you need to go. So really um, 
it's another reason why you find yourself not using it in very familiar areas like your your neighborhood and stuff um, but surprisingly enough it works on virtually all roads it even works on off roads as well too so there's a couple videos out there you can check out get all the Teslas on the road here seeing a lot had a chance to uh, visit the new model 3 the other day very very cool very very new um, nice new upgrade that they made to the model 3 which is the car I drive um, really interesting upgrades that they made they got rid of the stocks on the wheels which is kind of cool um, but also different but I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of the look they you know they got rid of the some of the badging on the back they switched it up with the letters they restyled the headlights I kind of like it um, it does make my car officially a legacy model 3 which is cool to know that this was uh, you know the OG and then you know it got switched up from here all right so we're doing a really good job driving using the autopilot FSD slight nudges coming up here and there nothing major um, hopefully traffic lightens up a little bit you can always swipe over and take a look at the live traffic which comes with premium um, and see how we're in the red right now but it does go turn into yellow and then into blue so we're really um, can't wait till we get into that because this this is the worst thing that people can sit through is traffic and that's just another reason why I want to show you in this video how FSD helps you out there all right so we're gonna try to switch lanes here since we did select minimal lane changes um, I'm gonna have to do it myself here but I can actually turn that off so it looks like they put the lines down on the road which is like liquid salt or something I think we are anticipating a little snowstorm coming up overnight or something so they're trying to uh, combat that a little bit uh, hopefully it doesn't accumulate too much and cause like a nightmare on the roads um, but I, I try to always shoot some interesting autopilot videos in the snow so if that does happen you'll get some cool videos out of me so make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that like button on this video if you haven't yet and uh, yeah all in all really good job with the uh, the driving here no takeover so far FSD doing its thing um, and we got the road splitting off here in uh, looks like a quarter mile or so and I think that's the moment where traffic is gonna go ahead and uh, speed up all right so I still do have that minimal lane change on let me turn, turn that off and um, it just makes your drive a lot easier in heavy traffic. I mean, sometimes when the road is clear, I choose to drive myself. Um, but a lot of times when I'm stuck in traffic, I, I let FSD do its thing. And uh, I find that it's, it's very helpful. Um, even though I hate traffic, I like the, the way the car drives more. So yeah, I want to thank everyone for watching this video. Um, hit that like button again if you haven't yet. And uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel for more FSD beta videos. Um, all things Tesla related. Autonomy, autopilot. Drop a comment if you want to see anything specific. Thanks again and have a great rest of your day.